Hello everyone. Today you will perform or carry out simulations on this load port mechanisms that is porting a load of 25,000 Newton. You will learn how we can consider this problem as a simple 2D plane truss problem. And also you will learn how we can evaluate the maximum deformations at the joint B and how to calculate the minimum factor of safety as well as deformations and how to use the SOLIDWORX weldment tool to start our simulation study now. So first of all change units to millimeters and draw a sketch on the front plane. Now draw a simple line that is passing through this region and the distance from this step to region is 400 millimeter. Total distance is sorry and total length of this line is 500 millimeter. After that draw a line starting from this point to this one and this and add a relation between the origin and this point as vertical sorry as vertical and the distance between this line and this vertex is 150 millimeter you can see that our sketch is fully defined now now exit from sketch and after that go to the add-ins and click on the weldments from here you can see weldment tab is up here click on the weldment and go to the structure member from here select the ANSE standard and wait until it is uploading it is a simple uh, tube Okay, it is a pipe select the size after that click on the groups and click here then here and here and ok so we have created our weldment structures now next step is to change the profile of the weldment so go to edit sketch you can see the units are millimeters so here the outside dia is 50 millimeter the inside dia of the pipe is 30 millimeter okay exit from sketch now so if you click on the front view this will be like this now it's time to start our simulation study as you can see that simulation tab has been added click here and go to the new study you can give it a specific name select the static from the general simulation type ok so go to the cart list first of all assign the material that is the elasticity and here just edit definitions and consider it as a truss ok do this for all structured members this is also truss and this is also a truss so this truss has three joints one two three this is the joint B this is the C and this is the joint A so our next step is to apply the fixtures go to the fixtures from here 
click the immovable that there is no translation only the duration select this duet and the restaurant okay and now it's time to apply the loads so right click on the loads click on the force and then select the joints select this joint and from the reference plane click here and select the front one click the this direction y directions reverse the directions you can increase the symbol size so that it may clear so enter the load value that is 25000 in the negative y directions okay we have applied loads as well as the sports now run your study now wait until your solution completes so our solution has been completed now you can see that the maximum stress added definitions change units to megapascals maximum stress is 19.14 megapascals that is less than that of the yield strength of the materials click the deformations here is the maximum deformation that occurred at that point that is 0.35 millimeter just animate your deformations behavior of the deformation will be like this right click on the guards and click on the define factor of safety and select all so minimum factor of safety is 13 or 12 point six for this and this range you can also calculate the reactions at this joint and at this joint so go to the list beam force Sorry, this is the reactions beam forces and this joint there is no beam force, axial force, but axial force occurs on this one that is 14 Newton and axial force in this on this beam is for 20 14.26 while on this section is 24.0 by newtons similarly just go again and list that force take this stand and this stand update so you can see the reactions y direction in y direction is 20,000 at this strand and the 5000 at this strand. The sum of both reactions in y direction is equal to applied load that is the 25000. So, in this way, we solve our problems of a simple support load mechanisms by considering it a truss problem. So, thank you for watching this simulations. Subscribe and share our videos. Thank you.